to everyone myself sanjay udge assistant professor department of electronics engineering walchand institute of technology solapur now we are going to discuss digital pulse modulation delta modulation learning outcome at the end of this topic students is able to understand basics of digital communication understand the fundamentals of delta modulation system this is the block diagram of digital communication system consists of discrete information source source encoder channel encoder modulator then electrical communication channel demodulator at the receiver channel decoder source decoder and a destination in this a discrete information source at the transmitter will convert the analog signal into a digital signal then this digital signal is been converted using a source encoder in the into a digital form that will convert uh, into a binary bits using a channel encoder channel encoder detects and corrects the error and it has been uh, modulated and sent through the channel at the receiver there is a demodulator uh, that is the quantized uh, signal this quantized signal is again uh, uh, decoded into a, a digital form and it has been uh, recovered at the source decoder that will convert from a digital uh, values to analog value so in this a type of noise introduced in particular digital communication is the quantization noise the quantization noise introduces a distortion in which uh, the uh, digitized uh, signal uh, will not follow exactly with the analog input signal so uh, the resulting the distortion types of modulations continuous wave modulation pulse modulation in continuous wave modulation they are classified as amplitude modulation angle modulation angle modulation is again classified as frequency modulation and phase modulation in pulse modulation there are two types again analog and digital modulation in analog we are having uh, pam pwm width and pulse position ppm in digital modulation we are having pcm that is pulse code modulation and it, this pulse code modulation is further divided as, as delta modulation adaptive delta modulation differential pulse code modulation this is the pcm generation analog message signal given to a low pass filter then a sampler that samples the analog signal with a particular sampling frequency using an iq criteria then a quantizer encoder a channel at the receiver again regenerate generation circuit decoder reconstruction filter and destination now we are going to discuss a delta modulation the type of modulation where the sampling rate is much higher and in which the step size after quantization is of smaller value delta such a modulation is termed as delta modulation features of delta modulation an over sampled input is taken to make full use of signal correlation the quantization design is simple the input sequence is much higher than the nyquist rate the quality is moderate the design of modulator and the demodulator is simple the staircase approximation of the output waveform step size is very small that is delta the bit rate can be decided by the user this involves simpler implementation delta modulation is a simplified form of dpcm technique also viewed as one bit dpcm scheme as the sampling interval is reduced the signal correlation will be higher it is the delta modulator now here you will find a block diagram of a delta modulator in which uh, at the initial stage there is a difference uh, amplifier will give the difference of the 
एम टी एंड एम कैप ऑफ टी एनालॉग इनपुट सिग्नल एंड प्रेडिक्टेड आउटपुट सिग्नल द आउटपुट ऑफ द डिफरेंस एम्पलीफायर इज डेल्टा टी इट इज गिवन टू अ मॉडुलेटर दैट विल मल्टीप्लाई द डेल्टा टी स्टेप बाय अ पल्स जनरेटर पी आई टी आउटपुट ऑफ द मॉडुलेटर इज पी ओ टी ओके नाउ दिस क्वान्टाइज द पल्सेस आर सेंड टू द थ्रू द चैनल एंड इट इज बीन रिसीव्ड एट द रिसीवर कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ अ क्वान्टाइजर इंटीग्रेटर एंड लो पास फिल्टर to reconstruct the original analog signal so this is what uh, the analog signal is shown by a, a continuous wave whereas uh, that is mt whereas uh, m cap of t is the output of the uh, integrator uh, initially at say t1 initially it is uh, uh, m cap of t is uh, supposed to be zero so at t1 the analog signal uh, mt is greater than m cap of t so uh, the output will be delta uh, delta 0 that will be a first staircase waveform in the second third fourth fifth uh, the same case that is uh, input signal is greater than the predicted signal m cap of t so the staircase will go on increasing as shown in the figure at t6 what happens at T six. Now the predicted output is greater than the analog signal M T. So the output is negative. Hence the difference amplifier will give the negative output that uh, that will be a minus delta. So uh, the staircase staircase output will be uh, in negative side, which is shown at the instant T six. In this way. the predicted output that is staircase uh, waveform will follow the analog signal which is shown at the top of uh, top of this diagram then this is the pit it is a uh, impulse generator okay so <coughs> uh, pot is the output of the uh, pulse generator that will have uh, positive pulses corresponding to to uh, positive delta and negative pulses corresponding to a Uh, negative uh, delta in delta modulation there exist two types of noise one is called as slope overload that is may be positive or negative so in diagram a and b a diagram is uh, for positive uh, overload and b diagram is for ne negative uh, overload distortion in which uh, in uh, diagram a Uh, analog input is increasing rapidly uh, in positive direction whereas in the diagram b the analog input is decreasing uh, rapidly uh, which is shown in the b so in both cases a and b the staircase output that is predicted output m cap of t is not following the analog signal there is a deviation of the predicted output that is staircase uh, with respect to the analog signal so this kind of distortion is called as a slope overload distortion the second type is the uh, granular noise if you look at the circuit diagram uh, waveform number c in which there is a small variation in the analog signal uh, in which the staircase output will hunts the analog signal input so the result is that the staircase output will be plus delta minus delta plus delta minus delta or alternatively between plus and minus delta in pcm all samples are encoded in pcm all samples uh, are encoded that will increase the number of bits in dpcm difference of the samples are encoded uh, saving some uh, bandwidth in delta modulation the encoded errors uh, error signal is encoded depending on the difference of the uh, differential amplifier uh, which will give the difference of xt and x cap of t if xt is greater than x cap of t delta will be positive if xt is less than x cap of t delta will be negative so this is the uh, diagram of delta modulation sampler one bit quantizer uh, difference amplifier Uh, difference amplifier will give the signal u of nts uh, which is the difference of x of nts and x cap of nts 
output of the one bit quantizer is eq of nts which has been multiplied with the impulse pulse that will give the output this output is been again integrated and fed back as a x cap of nts to uh, nts at the input side uh, at the difference amplifier so this is the error signal e of nts x of nts minus x cap of nts So this is what the uh, uh, diagram in which the staircase uh, uh, output that is predicted output will follow the uh, continuous analog signal shown by this orange color. This is uh, a sample, sampled uh, uh, input uh, that is the accumulator that is at, at the receiver side, transmitter and the receiver side. This is the slope overload distortion in which orange color shows the analog input whereas this blue color staircase is the uh, output of this uh, uh, quantizer which is the staircase which is not following exactly the input analog signal. So this is a combination of uh, granular noise and a, uh, and a slope overload distortion. granular noise when the input signal is very uh, slow varying and step size is, is very large uh, it introduces an error called as granular noise granular noise gives alternate alternating between the positive and negative outputs to reduce the granular noise step size has to be reduced slope overload distortion occurs due uh, uh, for the input signal with large variations in the slow in the slope granular noise occurs for the input signal with slow uh, slow variations advantages delta modulation transmits only one bit for one sample thus the signal rate and transmission channel bandwidth is quite small for delta modulation the the receiver is very simple for delta modulation there is no analog to digital converter involved in the delta modulation some uh, uh, distant uh, disadvantages uh, granular noise and slope overload net Question, uh, what type of noise are encountered in delta modulation? They are granular noise and slope overload distortion. These are the references. Thank you.